Welcome family members and friends to our words of wisdom on Wednesday. We're standing at St. Augustine's altar. The altar many times has been called the center, the core, the heart of any Christian community because it's here at the altar that we give thanks for God's amazing grace, boundless mercy, and unfathomable love. It's here at the altar that we are nourished with Christ's body and blood, tangible symbols of Christ's love for us and for all humanity. It's here at this Thanksgiving table that we gather as young and old, men and women, saints and skeptics. And I am thankful right now during this season, this unparalleled period in history for you, you the members and the friends of St. Augustine who have been generous and responsive. You know, I'm lifted up, I'm heartened by listening to the what I call video testimonies that have been going out over the past month, hearing the stories of how this community of faith has shaped and indeed transformed your lives, whether it's coming on a Sunday and entering through the red doors of this facility in which you receive a warm and hospitable welcome, or maybe it's through our constant striving to become a beloved, inclusive, and diverse community of faith that reflects God's dream for all humanity. Maybe you are changed by St. Augustine and you find this a dynamic place because of our commitment to meeting the needs of those who are most bereft in our city through our various outreach programs and initiatives. For some of you, you find our dedication to dynamic, inspirational, and indeed life-changing worship that's centered in an ancient modern tradition to be the key for these things and so many more. I'm thankful. And it's out of that sense of gratitude that I invite you to join with me in committing and investing what gifts God has given you to the further ministry of this community of faith for 2021 and beyond. I'm quite sure each and every one of you can speak autobiographically of how this community is beyond ordinary. Indeed, we are extraordinary. And this upcoming Sunday, the Feast of All Saints, we will not only lift up the virtues of those who have gone beyond, but indeed we will celebrate the lives of each and every one of you, living saints, continuing to do God's work and God's will in the world. You have an opportunity this upcoming Sunday to place on this altar, this Thanksgiving table, a pledge, a pledge in which you invest not only your lives, not only your talent and time, but indeed the treasure that God has bestowed upon you. We ask that you would share a small portion of that so that we can continue to be a light in the world and share the indeed unfathomable love of Christ in a world that so desperately needs it. Maybe you're not able to attend the in-person service this upcoming Sunday. If you're unable to do that, I remind you that the church will be open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday so that you might come and place your pledge on the altar as an act of spiritual worship and commitment. So we begin this stewardship season confident that God will carry us through even in the midst of unparalleled period and a pandemic, knowing that on the other side, we will share the joy and the victory that only Christ can give. With that in mind, I invite you to join me in a word of prayer. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. God of abundance, you have poured out a large measure of earth's blessings. 
our table is richly furnished, our cup overflows, and we live in safety and security. Teach us to set our hearts on you and not on material things. Keep us from being captivated by prosperity and grant us in wisdom to use your blessings to the glory and to the service of humankind. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. My friends, keep the faith, and I look forward to seeing many of you this upcoming Sunday, the Feast of All Saints.